this small group of people established Chattel Hikes. They were already farmers, but it wasn't too long before their ancestors had made this shift from eating wild plants and animals, that's called foraging, to eating domesticated plants and animals, and we call that, of course, farming. And so what we're finding is that the community is depleting the resources, natural and land and so forth, close to the community. So they're moving further and further out to collect resources, to graze their sheep and cattle. And so we would expect to see over time an increase in mobility. We had a big research team for this PNAS article. We wanted to look at all angles of human adaptation. The big part of the project is a study of impact of a growing population, starting out as a small village of a couple of families and peaking at something like five to 8,000 people as population increases they have got to go to a resource that's going to produce more food. And that resource is domesticated plants. When humans shift from a relatively broad diet to a diet based on plant carbohydrates, which are missing essential nutrients. So I think the real motivation for making that shift is the fact that plant carbohydrates, domesticated plants will produce calories and those foods can be stored. So there's all these advantages. The disadvantage is that it results in poor health, but in fact, it has real implications for who we are today, as the world is completely dependent upon plant carbohydrates is a focus of diet. And now we're reaching the point of some 8 billion people so what are the implications for feeding those 8 billion people? How are we going to do that?